So we're on our tour of the Railway City Brewery. Packaging. 
Uh, there is a bottling line and also a growler line. A growler line, um, which are, are 1.9 liter jugs. Um, so basically four bottles of our pints. Um, basically what happens, we do those individually. Um, individual, so it takes a ridiculous amount of time. So we're very, still very small. <laughs> um, but our four head system, we actually stepped up from a one head system to a four head system with our bottling line. Obviously next step is an inline system, but that might not happen in this facility. But we are ever expanding and we have just grown exponentially over the past year. We have been open as a microbrewery for just a little over two years. So this actually used to be a former U brew operation. Right in this area actually used to be a whole bunch of little kettles that people could come in, make their beer, we'd watch it, and then they'd come back and package it. All right, but due to logistics, we can't actually have um, both under the same roof. We'd have to have a separate entrance, separate business. Yada yada yada, mm -hmm. you know the whole logistics. Um, but we do hand package, hand delabel, hand relabel, hand wash all our bottles and all our growlers. So, a weekend staff. <laughs> um, <laughs> on a weekend, we can do upwards to um, close to 200 cases of bottles labeled. Um, we actually just recently outsourced our bottle washing and delabeling to another company, Community Living, but it was, uh, was uh, kind of nice. Mm -hmm. We don't have that much more work to do. Anyway, and we sell our beer up front. If you'd like to come back and get some samples, I know it's such a hard thing to say yes to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, follow me this way. Yeah, twist our arms, eh? <laughs> oh, <probably. laughs>